been said, a wise man learns from his mistakes. It's also been said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Well, hi friends, this is Fire on Pop, and I have an interesting uh, uh, video for you today. Uh, it's, it's talking about uh, the proper handgun grip and the common mistakes uh, we need to avoid. Uh, and uh, I, I saw an article on this and it really thought uh, was very helpful. So I thought I'd uh, put together my own video and explain it myself. So uh, here goes now. Okay. We're going to talk about getting a grip here, okay? <laughs> and that's the first and most important thing. Now a solid firing grip begins with a dominant or strong hand. Your strong hand should grip the pistol firmly with the web of your hand in the and right up in the back strap. Okay, this offers the greatest re, uh, recoil control and consistency. The trigger finger is extended along the side until the decision to fire is made. In addition, your strong thumb is should always be pointed in the direction of the target. Okay. Now, we're also going to talk about maintaining your grip when it comes to shooting a handgun with dependable accuracy, okay, a reliable, consistent grip is a must. Now let's look at these. Now, too much space between the web of the hand and the back strap compromises the control of the gun. Okay, in this next photo, the, the thumb is crossed and the gap is created on the frame, reducing the ability to control the gun. Okay, in the next photo here, the grip with the thumbs tucked down is also improper. Okay. Now, also, with a proper grip, hands make full contact with the frame. Notice how the thumbs are stacked and the web of the hand is high in the back strap. This kind of finger placement will result in pushing the fingertip, reducing a shooter's ability to stay on target. Okay. And hooking with the knuckle of your finger is also reduces your chances of success here. The shooting grip is achieved while the pistol is still in the holster. Okay. Now, recoil anticipation comes in two common forms, muzzle depression and muzzle elevation. Okay. In this photo, when a, when a shooter anticipates the shot, he uh, might push the front of the sight down, which in turn dips the gun. As a result, shots go low. Anticipation can also lead to a shooter heeling down on the frame, and the shoots go and the shots go high. The shoots go high. Yeah, I'm doing well. Okay. The solution to either form of anticipation is front sight focus. Okay, really important. Front sight focus. This is a complete deliberate focus on the front sight, not just visually, but mentally as well. Okay. If you have a, a flinch or anticipation problem, I recommend actually saying front sight in your head as you press the shot. Your focus on the front sight should be so deliberate that you'll find the shot has broken before you had the opportunity to anticipate it. If you find that you are focusing so intently that the shot breaks and gives you a surprise, you've done it right. Okay. Point your toes in the general direction of the target. Flex your knees slightly, don't lock them, lean forward at the waist, putting the shoulder slightly ahead of your belly, relax and shoot. That's it. And uh, is there a need for precise deliberate stance? You betcha. Now here you can see uh, turkey necking is uh, when the shot is impacted, you uh, look over the sight to see what's happening, okay? And that's called turkey necking. Follow through is also keeping your head down and riding the pistol back on target, okay? And that's what you need to do. Once you fire that, forget where the shot went, but uh, follow that, that front sight right back on, on target. Now follow through simply means to ride the recoil of the gun. Uh, 
reacquire your front sight and get back on target regardless of whether or not you intend to fire another shot. Follow through. Proper follow through addresses uh, both unconscious flinching and what I call turkey necking. Okay. So it does both of those. Turkey neck long enough and it will become part of the shooting process. You start to ingrain the neck, shoulder, and arm movement into your shooting. Before you know it, you taught yourself to flinch. Adding it up. Firing a handgun with consistent accuracy takes determined physical and mental effort on your part. No one is a born good shooter. Shooting well breaks down to about 10% physical and 90% mental. In today's fast food, instant gratification, overstimulated world, disciplining your mind can be the most difficult part of all. Okay, and like my many of my series say, uh, it's practice, practice, and more practice. <clears throat> well, I hope you found these to be helpful. You can find me on Facebook at Fire on Pop. You can find me on the web at FireOnPop.com. And as usual, this is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.